Hello, no self. This is video XX, Roman numerals XX, which is 20. And why I'm calling it video XX is it's a warp in time. And the reason I'm creating it is mainly for time saving. I've created a bunch of videos and I numbered them all. And when I was going through and editing, I realized there was a duplicate in there. So I had to take it out. And if I took it out, then I'd have to renumber all the videos. And there's quite a few, I won't tell you how many. And I didn't want to do that, I felt lazy. And so at this moment, I realized I could create a video that is a filler video to take that spot of XX and say to myself, it's been a while since I've made these videos in terms of how this one now is out of the order in time. Is time really linear? I'm not sure. So adding this video into the mix is an invitation to think of this conversation as something that can be co-created and collaborated with. If you've watched the first 19 videos, this video is an invitation to participate with me to harvest what resonates out of this chaotic context that was created. And I left pretty much everything in and this way I can invite my friends to participate in seeing what has meaning and seeing what doesn't and sharing that with me and sharing that with each other. I want to invite you into a new world, a new universe, a new you and I verse, a new song that we sing together with each other, share with each other, and create new context and meaning around certain transformative experiences that have been labeled mental illnesses by outside observers. If you're watching this now, perhaps synchronicity is calling and if you've been in that state of synchronicity before, you know what I'm talking about. Have we just synchronized? My eyes meet yours, perhaps through a screen, and that's very common these days. And I want to share with you, the trajectory of my life wasn't always going this way. This was me six years ago. I was over-medicated, suicidal by akesthesia. Wow, that was a dragonfly. It actually came down the stairwell to see me. And I dreaded the unfolding moments of my life. So how did my life not go along this trajectory to tragedy. I don't really know. All I know is I talked myself out of that world and into another. And that process never ends. At this point, I'm talking to myself into sharing this conversation with myself to change the way that we see ourselves and think about ourselves. Not to anything in particular, but to show that we can create that for ourselves on a daily basis and start to crowd out what we've been told to believe about ourselves in terms of being defective, deficient, degenerating over time, needing to fear ourselves and our brains. What are the other possibilities? Some of us have had a sense of a different world 
And what is preventing this world from manifesting? And where does this world exist? Many of us have had powerful visions. What's preventing us from unfolding these visions and making them manifest? I feel part of it is that we need each other. We're all unique pieces of the puzzle. Our visions are so vast that there's no way physically that we can single-handedly create that world ourselves. It's impossible. That would be like expecting one ant to build what it takes an entire colony of ants to build. So all the ants together build the colony, and they are that colony. They are that world that they build for themselves. Are we defective members of society? Or are we a new emerging neurotribe with visions and insights in our heart that We lack open lines of dialogue to unfold the meaning and share that context that we felt experientially in our own lives. It could have been an experience that felt more real than anything else that we've ever touched upon. And why is that made into a lifelong chronic illness? What translates it into that and what makes it possible for all of that to transform into something else? And what is that something else? I have no idea. I don't feel it's a personal phenomenon. I don't feel that feeling it myself for a small period of my life is what's going to make that happen on the larger scale. Is the critical mass held within the hearts of medicated mystics, of people who go through non-volitional altered states of consciousness, and then are persuaded into utilizing all one's energy and volition in life going forward to manage something called a mental illness. There are only questions. There are no answers. I wonder what we can co-create together when we see differently, when we see ourselves in a new light. And how do we do that? How do we get light to transform before our eyes and show us a different world and thus shine a different light on our heart for us to see ourselves differently? So much of the information of the world that we see is translating according to the sounds in our head. And if we've been labeled with a mental illness, we inherit a lot of new sounds to go looping on in our head, which then translates the information of the world according to those bits of sound, those memes. So if we create new memes, perhaps we see a different world. Perhaps we see ourselves differently. Perhaps we create ourselves differently. And how do we create new memes? Well, we have to speak. We have to speak with ourselves. We have to speak with each other. Speak in new ways. And how many of us got connected with speaking in new ways? 
and seeing a new world unfolding and attempting to communicate that and perhaps not being able to learn that language of seeing and acting and communicating and sharing fast enough. But we have that blueprint. It's within our mind, our body, our being, our, our cells, our, our brain cells. How do we see ourselves differently? Can we wonder about ourselves? Can we wonder about our capabilities? Can we wonder about our capacities? Can we wonder about our gifts? Can we wonder about that process that felt so transformative? Not wishing for the process back, per se, Yet, unfolding the meaning and context of it to create a new lexicon, a new dictionary of a new way of communicating with ourselves and others in order to crowd out what we've been told to believe about ourselves. And that's everywhere. It's so prevalent. And if we don't create something different for ourselves, a new way of seeing for ourselves, nobody is going to do that for us. All the energy out there is devoted to keeping us believing in our own lack and deficiency. What are your gifts? What did you connect with that you have to share? I know you felt it. It's time to stop pretending that we felt this, at least with ourselves in private. And if we can do that for ourselves in private, then we can share it with each other in private. And all of a sudden, with new words, new ways of thinking, new ways of seeing, new ways of communicating, we've created a different world. We've created a different universe. We've created different possibilities. We've created new possible trajectories of our lives. Can we transform the fear that we've been programmed to have about our own life into wondering about our own life? Wondering about the meaning Wondering about what that meant. Wondering about what this moment now means. And when we really wonder without any old thoughts and programs that we've been given to believe about ourselves interfering, the moment might whisper something different to us. And then there's the new element involved in creating our perceptions moment to moment, creating our way of seeing moment to moment, which changes the way we see ourselves, which changes the way we unfold ourselves, which through our own voice, through the sound of our own voice, speaking in new and powerful ways, it unlocks new possibilities for us to see and when that happens moment to moment we can move and live in new ways we can transcend we can transcend what we've been told to believe about ourselves I wonder if any of this resonates and there's a lot of it and I talk a lot with myself about how it's not about right and wrong it's about wonder 
It's about giving one's unique voice and perceptions permission to speak and hearing oneself speak it and feeling how that changes the vibration in the nervous system, which then changes the vibration of that which one can perceive and receive and thus changes what we believe and we go from believing to perceiving and receiving. There's nothing to believe. Belief in something brings in the past and prevents co-creative perception in the present moment. I invite you to participate in the transformation of insanity.